Hi guys, and welcome again to our channel. This is Renat. And Eileen. And we are here to give everybody an update because everybody has been asking where we are, how we've been, and we thought it would be fun to do a little quarantine vid for you guys, video for you guys. A little chit chat. Yeah, and Eileen, do you want to tell them? Sure. <laughs> I ended up testing positive for COVID-19. And Renad thinks it's hilarious. I do not think it's hilarious. I'm ending that part out, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> trying to get me canceled. And <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, yes. So Eileen literally a week ago when was it you texted me and you were like i tested positive for corona and i was like it was last week wednesday is this and i was thinking like oh my god is she just like pranking me is this serious like what's happening and then i called her right away <laughs> i texted her and i called her and she did confirm that it was not a prank i didn't tell us about like when you first found out I was like, damn, I kind of already knew because I had, like, no symptoms. Yeah. I was like, oh, great. Now everybody's going to, like, not want to be near me. Nobody's going to want to be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still your friend from far away. <laughs> yeah. um, and then that is just crazy to me that you, you got it. And it was because you work in a hospital. Yes. I work at a hospital. And that was how I got it. Yeah. I'm not going to give any more details, so I don't know if I'm allowed to. Yeah. However, weirdly, I feel like I have, I heard there's like different strains of coronavirus, and I feel like I got a pretty good one from all of, all of them, I guess, if you could say that, because yeah. my symptoms are not that severe for the most part, except for the fever, but it comes and goes, so it's like not that hard to deal with, personally, I think. Yeah. And... You know, once Eileen told me about this, and we had been receiving so many comments about whether or not we're coming back, I thought that doing an educational video on Eileen telling us about her, her symptoms, a few of the early signs, you know, could be beneficial, could be entertaining, any of the above. Yes. So for me, it started with a headache. And then tell us more. Like, do you think you can pinpoint the exact moment you caught it or no? Yeah. Cause it started to feel really weird. I was like, I never get headaches and I started getting one and then like I kind of felt like dizzy and nauseous. Yeah. And then slowly I started to see myself sweating and getting a fever. And then okay. because I was at the hospital, I checked my temperature and it was a hundred something. Wow. So you pretty much started having all of the symptoms, like right away, like all together, I mean? Uh, no, so it slowly progressed from a headache and then to the fever. But the thing is that I never, I cough every once in a while, but I never developed like a dry cough that like my lungs were hurting. Correct. So that's something weird that most people do get that I didn't really get. You know, so I don't have much congestion at all so that's another thing that I didn't get yeah well I think I can speak for myself and all of us we are I think I'm very very glad that you are okay and you're safe and you did not need to be hospitalized which is amazing and how are you doing with the recovery um I'm doing pretty good however the worst thing I do have to say is the headaches still and the body aches oh my god like Sometimes you're just like turning around in bed all day because it everything hurts. Like, oh my god, your muscles are so sore. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, can I get this over with? Yeah. yeah. When when can I log off? <laughs> um, well, no, it's I think something so crazy about living in a pandemic is there's just information from everywhere, and you do not know what to believe. You do not know what you should be scared of. And something that I always read was that the cough was one of the first things that people feel like a dry throat. Um, 
so that that's interesting that you didn't experience that yeah so i feel like people should get tested even though they don't have all the common symptoms because you could be like me and have it and i have an extreme cough yeah i think a general rule right now that you know people should be should abide by is if you're sick stay home if you're not sick stay home i have not left my house (laughs) since the lockdown like i literally do i'm lucky enough to work from home i'm lucky enough to go to school from home so yeah i i didn't need to leave my house but i think something interesting that i saw was that whether or not you test positive for corona is not going to change the response of how you get treated for corona like in a case like yours where you don't necessarily need uh, to go to the hospital or need urgent care you just have to stay home so whether they told you you had the flu or corona it wouldn't really have changed anything would you say that's correct yeah just have to stay quarantined yeah and and I had to do all my homework while I was sick yeah more about the future like a lot of people are asking so when we say a lot of people we are talking about like three four okay guys there will be a response video to our most popular video on YouTube because it needs to be addressed (laughs) does it though it really does and I know we're going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Another update. We finished recording a whole season of You, Me, and the Killer podcast. For a lot of people, I don't think they know this. Um, the YouTube channel is a little... The YouTube channel is part two of a podcast where we go in depth about the killing. We go in depth about the killers. We talk about other scientific theories that could have led to the killers being the way that they are so that is something for you guys to check out if you guys are interested in killers um it's on apple podcasts and Spotify. everywhere everywhere you go just look it up you me and the killer mm-hmm. <laughs> i was actually listening to some of them today and they're actually pretty entertaining you think so I think we think they're entertaining because it's us. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And please stay safe if you can't. Stay safe. Stay home if you can. Um, Any parting words, Eileen? Peace out. Peace out. (laughs) Okay. Um, We will see you guys next time. Stay safe. Oh my god, we said stay safe before anybody said stay safe. Yeah, we did. Oh my god. We started stay safe. We did. They took it. I'm going to copyright this stuff right now. I'm (laughs) running. I just realized that we say stay. We've been saying it since like last October. Mm -hmm. Wow. The shade of it all. It's okay. It's okay. Wait. We'll make new sayings that we'll get to. <laughs> um, yeah, stay safe. Bye, guys.